Yo, welcome to another edition of Todd's Takes. You know, it's me, Ty Nitty. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, this is Ty. So uh, I appreciate you guys on my channel today. We're going to do this a little different. I apologize for that video that I did uh, on the GoPro Hero 8. Uh, that video right there had uh, some issues where it, it cropped my head off, man. And uh, But, uh, you know, I never want to put, like, lousy video up, video or audio up on my channel. Because it's so important to me that I'm good and clear that you guys can see, you know, see and understand what I'm saying and everything, everything else. So, um, but uh, that's what happened with that. But uh, the main thing was the content. I wanted you guys to kind of like get the content on that. So uh, that's the reason for that. That's the reason why I left it up there because the, the camera was facing, you know, on the actual product itself. I want you guys to learn more about the product. You know, if you got any kind of. Now I know there's a I know there's a ton of videos out there, you know, and they all everybody do do their own style and do it differently. Me, I'm still learning, so you know, I'm I'm not gonna make that an excuse. I'm gonna do the best I can with my videos and give you guys some interesting uh, uh, commentary. Anyway, here's the main thing I, I got to you. drones. Um, the main thing I, I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie to the the drone world as far as racing drones. Uh, as you guys can see, the RC world. I just purchased the. Uh, this racing drone here. I just got this racing drone. It's a uh, it's the Aris. This right here is the Aris um, 280, 200, which is 280 means the millimeter, 280 millimeter um, V2 racing full carbon fiber racing drone, FPV racing drone. Comes with the uh, the lollipop and all. So uh, I just got this drone here, and I love it. But here's the big difference. This is what this video is about. This is a video about just like I made videos about being a newbie in the RC world, and I did, I'm doing great with that, and, and, I, and I absolutely, absolutely love it. But the drone, I'm still really, really new in. So now I'm really talking to the newbie guys, cause I'm just like you, we're gonna do this journey together. But here's the big difference between this racing drone here, and which I just bought, and this big DJI 4K Phantom drone that I have had here that I've had probably I've had this drone probably about three years uh, give or take and uh, I absolutely love this drone I love this drone but here here's the thing I'm gonna tell you these things are not cheap this this one here is this is not cheap this is not a toy this is not nothing that I would get uh, your your young children or anything like that. This is this is some real deal photography. Uh, this right here can actually do 4K resolution and has electronic gimbal, which this thing is very steady by the way. It does not shake. But uh, today I'm just gonna give you kind of like you newbie guys that's just like me a difference between this drone right here and the racing drone because uh, I think people kind of like get a mis big up misconception and they're like. Well, I've got one of these, or I've got something similar to this, so I can fly a racing drone. It, it's 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 different. It's a night and day difference. I'm, it's a night and day difference. I'm going to show you with some with the video content. Night and day difference. Okay, so we're going to start with. I'll tell you what. We're going to start with this drone. Controlling this drone, the sophistication that DJI has put in this drone is unmatched. I'm serious. Uh, they put. So much tech, so much R&D in their drones and in their products that, you know, photography-wise, you guys do YouTube, you guys do commercials, you want to do, you know, things for real estate, you want to survey a land, you want to survey a bridge, you are, whatever. This, I would tell you, this law enforcement, whatever, this would be the one to grab. I would definitely go with DJI. I don't think I would trust touch any other brand but this but this model here uh, the tech in this thing and the ease of use as far as flying it now it is a learning curve it is not like a RC car where you know you turn right turn left whatever whatever and it's that easy no it is a very learning curve to this thing it's not impossible to learn but it's a practice it's a practice of learning how to fly drones uh, it's not like RC cars at all uh, but uh, I tell you what, uh, you know, just learning when, the, when the, the drone is facing away from you, like you're looking from the back of it, 
you know, left is left and right is right, up and up and up and down is down. But when it's facing towards you, coming towards you, it's not doing that. So when you hit the right, it's going left. When you hit the left, it's going right. So that's what people mess up at, you know, they and they forget, like, you know, the left thumbstick is the up and down and the yaw, which is the yaw is turning like that. And the right thumbstick is, you know, the left, the the right, you know, the left, the right, the front, the back. But people get confused with that, especially when it's facing toward them or coming toward them. They instantly hit the wrong stick and it's in a tree or it's on somebody's, it's on somebody's roof. Or they accidentally take this thing like way out of range <laughs> and it's on somebody's roof. But the beauty about this thing here is, like I said, the GPS and the sophistication of this machine, if it ever loses signal, you know, and, and you have, you know, set the GPS to return back to you, which is the home point. Set the home point, which returns back to you. It will, it will come back to you. Now, it doesn't land exactly in the same spot every time. Sometimes it might land just a few feet away and land, or it might land like a few feet behind you, but it will land in the radius of where you're standing at. And that's the beauty about, I love this drone. If you ever got it lost. Now, there have been cases of guys had, whether this one or that spark, that I've seen videos of God and talked to guys that, that thing lost signal and it, it was bye bye, it flew away forever. <laughs> so be careful of that. But the ease of use of this drone, flying this drone is a whole lot easier because as you're hitting the, the left thumb stick up, when you when it as it's going up, when you stop, you let off because the thumb stick is spring loaded. You know, when you let off, it's gonna stop. And it's not gonna drop or fly over here, fly over there. It's gonna stop right there and it's gonna hover right in this space, okay? Same way with going left and right. When you go left or right, because like I said, the right thumb stick is spring-loaded. Go right, hit stop, it'll stop. Go left, it'll stop, you know? And it will hover. It's not gonna drop. It's, you don't have to keep your hand on the throttle, none of that stuff. It's just gonna stay exactly where that, so you can get that beautiful shot, that, that, that photolistic shot of whatever you're trying to film. Now, see with a DJI drone, with a GPS inside of it, it'll stay right there. This is me not touching the, the sticks at all. But if I stick, uh, hit the stick once going up just a little bit, it'll go up until I'm done pressing on the sticks. Press it to the right, and then y'all to the left, y'all to the right, but it'll only do it until I stop. That's the big difference between a DJI drone and a regular racing drone. Well, a regular racing drone, it's not going to hold its position like this, it, this does. But that's the beauty about this drone as far as doing photography is that it is steel. There you go up. It only moves when the stick moves. Drone time, baby. Drone time, drone time, drone time. We flying, baby. We flying. You see it. Yes, sir. Okay, so. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that, guys. My family came through. Anyway, uh, that's what I was saying. Basically, I was getting back to what I was saying was 
When you go left, the remotes on this thing is spring loaded. You go left, it's gonna go left. You go right, it's gonna go right. All right. So that's the beauty about this thing. All right. So another thing about the ZGI is the battery. The battery on this thing right here, believe it or not, is going to last a lot longer than a racing drone. Okay. So here's the thing. This is the battery. You pull it right out the back. This is the battery that it takes. All right. So basically, I'm just kind of like telling you the difference. I'm talking to the newbie guys, the difference between one versus another. I haven't seen anybody make a video of that yet. So I'm telling you the difference between one and another. This is the battery for the DJI drone. Now, this battery right here, these batteries, believe it or not, these, these are lithium ions, all right? But they're what they call smart batteries. They're 15.2 volt. But they're smart. They're intelligent, what they call intelligent battery. I mean, the battery has got an actual chip in it that's going to tell the remote and the phone, how much battery time you got left, how much charge, the whole works. All right, just kind of like a, a battery reader. All right, so don't skim out and get the cheap battery because the no name battery, name brand batteries, are not going to give you that information. And I'm going to tell you something you do not want this $1,000 drone flying away because that's about the cheapest I've seen one of these. Brand new is about $799. They can get all the way up to twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. This is a high dollar machine, but like that's the reason why I said this is not a toy. This is not nothing you give your five year old son. So if they at Best Buy or something like that, and they're ten to twelve years old, I want a drone. They want this. This is a this is a grand, people. <laughs> and you, I, I would hate to see a grand go off the top of a person's roof. Now if they're into robotics and they know what they're doing, they know how to fly. Go ahead. And you got the money like that? Hey, do it. Go ahead, but I've had this thing four years, three years. I haven't had an issue with it. I have crashed it. If you worry about durability, I've have I've crashed it one time before, but the only thing it broke was the propellers. Other than that, it's pretty durable, believe it or not. The main thing you don't want to break is that gimbal. You don't want to break that. All right, so that's the difference between that drone. Now, you're saying to yourself, people that's probably got that drone, they say, well, I can fly a... Uh, I can fly racing drones, not to it. All right. Big difference between this, this, this right here is a racing drone. A lot more powerful motors. All right. Now, the beauty about a racing drone is it depends on which one you get. This one right here has got a carbon fiber body. Full carbon fiber. You guys can see that? Full carbon fiber body. All right. These are real durable. They are very, very durable. You crash these. Now, I'm not going to sit there and say crash them on concrete from 400 feet away, 400 feet in the sky. I'm not going to tell you that to do that. But, you know, you pretty, you probably about 6 to 10 feet off the ground, 100 feet off the ground maybe, and you're coming down kind of slow and it hit, you'll be okay. But... 400 feet in the air and they come down hard like you got the like the the, uh, the thing all the way off it's, it's gonna go in pieces all right now these I don't know which one of which one is more fun uh, I think the easier use of the DJI to me is a little bit more enjoyable as far as like you know just you know you just want to relax and enjoy the scenery Things like that. This right, this right here, along with the goggles, because they they come with goggles. Like you can actually buy goggles for them. They go over your eyes, and I have those. Uh, this is more like adrenaline rush. This is like whoa, you're like you know, you know, you just you, you're you're because you're seeing what the drone sees. So as you're flying and it's zipping and it's doing flips and cartwheels and all that stuff, all that is in your in your eyes. Like you're actually sitting in a roller coaster. So this is more adrenaline rush. This is more. You know, you want to get out there, you really want to just wow yourself. Kind of like an RC car on a track. This is what this does. All right? You want to smash and bash on an RC car? If you like doing that, then you will love this. You will love this right here. Okay? Because so, that's what this is about. This, this model right here actually has a Sony 700 HD camera here. Has all, all the, everything that you need. It's already got a, uh, the... Uh, there's all the sensors that you need. I already got the the the, uh, the uh, sensor to reach your goggles for your imagery. 
the lollipop antenna, which is which does very good by the way, because uh, my my goggles are dual diversity, so they pick up. I don't, if I, if I fly this thing like way out, way way out, I can still pick up video. And one thing I do love about it, now I don't think this thing has a return to home feature. I don't, mine doesn't. Some people actually, you know, guys who customize their racing drones, they put that on there. Mine doesn't have that. So, like I said, uh, okay, so, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so, yeah, so I already got the radio built in. Everything It's got everything that you need to make it run and use the, excuse me, use the goggles. So, uh, now this, these batteries for this machine here, because it's so powerful, they don't last long. They don't last long at all. This model right here, the 280 millimeter, uses these 4S batteries here. All right. Now the ones I like to use with this, with this quad, that's what they call them, quad coppers, is these uh, tattoos. I like these tattoos here. These are good, strong, good, strong batteries. And they're 4S. 4S means how many they are. So you, so you can count that. One, two, three, four. Four S batteries. All right. And they're 4S. Just like this one has 4S. This one has a 1500 milliamp battery. It's got 50 C bursts. The 50 part is how much power it pushes out in, 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 in an instant. So let's say you hit the the throttle, and you want it to go zoop, like strong, that's where the bursts come in. The higher the burst, the more you're going to get that. But take that with a grain of salt because you'll have a battery sit there and say, it's got 150 C. But when you put it on an actual battery meter, it's no more than about 70 C, give or take. So, you know, and the 1500 milliamp is how much gas is in the tank. So 1500, the higher the milliamp, the longer, the more energy it stores and the more energy it gives out. So the higher the milliamp, the longer it'll fly. Okay, so your question is, if your question is, well, 1,500 milliamp, that's not much. In a quad it is, believe it or not. Uh, I had this battery, this is the battery that it came with. It came with this battery. And I flew up in the air probably about a good, I'm gonna say a good 15 minutes. Now you say, wow, that's not long. Believe it or not, when you're flying this thing, and you're zipping and all that and stuff like that. That's a long time. <laughs> that's a long time. I, I mean, I mean, it feel like forever. All right. Now this one here is a 4S, and it's 1550 milliamps, and it's got a hundred C burst. So when you want to do freestyles and stuff like that, making it flip up upside down and do tricks, a, a good high burst like that. That's what you want. You want a good 175, 65, no less than 50 Cs. All right. But on the trade-off, like I said, the trade-off on that is they don't last long. The batteries don't last long at all. So it's like this battery here. I just got there. This is a new tattoo in. I just got this in today. And this right here was uh, the number one rated battery. Believe it or not, this is the battery that the... Uh, that the uh, Drone, the professional drone racers use. They use this, this R line. So I just got this R line here, and it's 2,000 milliamps at 120 C. So when I finally get my practice in on this thing, and I can, and I know it like the back of my hand, like I got my DJI drone, I'm gonna pop this sucker in here and, and have like really, really have fun with it and fly, all, you know, fly a good. This right here lasts about a good 20 minutes, give or take. All right. So. Like I said, the big difference is we'll get to the controls. Reason why I say it's gonna to be totally different is because it is. When you fly this thing, right? Let me show you the remote to this thing here. Like this is the this is the, the transmitter. Now, the cool thing about this is you got a screen on this thing that tells you everything that's going on with this quad and everything that's going on with your remote and the signal so you can adjust your quad you can adjust the gains on it you can just you can adjust you know 
how much y'all, you know, how much throttle, all that stuff on this on this this remote here. This right here is a Radio Link ATS9 is what they call this. All right, and then they got another brand out there that that people really really like. I forgot. I think it starts with a G, but uh, they 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 run this. But the big difference between this, quad as far as controlling it, I'm gonna set this up here so you can see it. Just like I said, that's the throttle, right? See how this, this, it doesn't spring back? Like with the DJI, when you do like that, it springs back in the middle. All right. With this, this is the throttle. When you bump it up like that, just a little bit, that quad is gonna go zzz, like that. But when you come back down with it, it's not gonna it's not gonna stay. It's not gonna stay. It's just gonna, it's just gonna come down. It's just gonna keep going until you got this down. <laughs> Right now we just we just practicing on a getting the bounce of it. Just practicing getting the bounce of it. So you can catch it like that. I'm enjoying it. I actually enjoy doing this than the cars because it's more of a challenge. Because it's a challenge to fly these, man. It's not easy. Because you're looking at, you spend whatever money you spend, and then you worry about it. <laughs> you worry about it uh, crashing, man. You know, and tearing all the pieces. <laughs> like when I land, I land it soft. Well, if you want to call that soft, but it ain't falling so many feet in the air and killing itself. Cause like I said, this right here is not like my big one. It's not like my DJI. It's a, uh, you, are, you are in total control. Like the DJI kind of, I won't sit there and say it controls itself, but it uh what it does it it uh it's got a like i said sensors in that thing where it'll keep it level you see what i mean like once you set the gps like you sit you can set your waypoint with a dgi that big one i got you can set your waypoint to come back to you or to whatever gps you set it to which is like the home button well this thing here you know, you got to control it. And, and the DJI actually stay right there. No matter how much wind, you know, it might float to the left or the right a little bit, but it won't do, it'll stay right there. It will not move from that 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 that, uh, that circle. But well, this right here is a little different. Yeah. See, it's so powerful it don't have a, a happy medium <laughs> you just gotta always control of the throttle you gotta always control that throttle and it's just just moving the stick just a little bit <laughs> that's the big difference so it's gonna keep going until you until you put this back down again and then it's gonna fall 
and it falls, and then you got to push this back up to get it back level. So you got to really like learn muscle memory on how to do the throttle because like right there, that's a hundred percent. So when it shoots up in the air and you leave it there, it's gone until it, until it leaves signal. It doesn't spring back. So you got to get it off, let it fall. So you got to constantly hold this throttle. You constantly always got the whole throttle. And then on top of that, while you're holding the throttle, do the yaw, because this does the yaw. This makes it turn around, you know, like a, like a circle. This right here makes it go forward. Now this is spring back. That's got a spring in it, because that makes it go forward, go back, go left, go right. So it is a learning curve. A big learning curve. And then on top of that, we're talking... Thirty-five to forty miles an hour, give or take, on its highest setting. To fifty to sixty miles an hour, to seventy miles an hour, to eighty miles an hour. Sometimes ninety, depending on what motors you got on here. They got some cars out there doing a hundred, over a hundred. Thirty-five, eighty. Thirty-five miles an hour, eighty miles an hour. I'm talking to my newbie guys now. So when you go to a hobby store, after you watch this video, you know exactly what you're going to get into. Now, if you want that, you want that, putting the goggles on, seeing what the camera sees, it's zipping, it's doing better, because it does just like an F-16 plane. You know, just like a, jet, a fighter jet. It, it flips all and does loops. It goes, flips, back, back flips, and you want that excitement? You want this. That's what you want. You want a beautiful day out in the park. You want to record that beautiful mountain scenery. You're out camping with your family. You want to record that forest, that, that the woods, the snow, the houses. You want this. You want to do surveillance. You want to do, you know, housework. You're a real, you're a real estate agent. You need to record what a house looks like on the roof. You want this. Calm, smooth, collected. That's the big difference, guys, between the DJI photo drone and a race drone from Ty's Take. So I hope this video helps you out. Remember, these, these batteries here are about uh, on Amazon. I think this battery, this, this, this fun fly was $20. This big R line right here was about 40 bucks, right? And then these little batteries like these areas, 1500s and all that stuff like that, they know more than about fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, and they like you know, as long as you got you a good balancer like that, like this here, get you a good charger. This right here does charge, discharge, balance, fast charge, and it does all the plugs. This right here is the IMAX V6 A6 V2. This is the one of the best AC DC dual chargers you'll get. You can plug it into the wall or you can take it out to your truck and car, use the battery, the, the car to your, the car battery, plug into that and charge these all day. Lipos, li Lipos, LIFEs, Lion, LIHVs, Nickel Mated Hydrate, NICDs, PBs, Lead Acid, does it all. Get one of these. Invest in that. I've got two of them. I've got that one there, and I've got my Traxxas one for my... And that there would do up to 6S. My Traxxas only do up to a 4S. So these right here are 4Ss. Get you a good 4S battery. 14 point, which is 14.8 volt. Get you a 14... 14. You can get away with 11.3 11 point, 11 point volt, which is a 3S. But get you a 14. That's what you want for... That's what you want for your racing drone. And for your DJI, you already know this is a 15 volt battery here, 15 to 16 volts. So you need that because this is a heavy, this is a heavy quad. This thing got some weight. So you need something that's going to drive these motors, and to do this gimbal because you're controlling all that—the gimbal, the motor, all that—with this. All right. This is Ty's takes, guys. I really appreciate it. appreciate you uh, watching my channel, subscribe to my channel, and uh, you got any questions.
I hope I helped you out. I hope the video that I, that I got up there kind of showed you the difference between them. Uh, and uh, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe, man. I'm talking to all my newbie guys that's into drones and whatnot. That's that's what you're going to run into. That's the difference, all right? So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, one thing is my GoPro Hero 8. Um, we actually just got that. My wife has went ahead and traded it for me for the GoPro Hero 9. So look out for the video on that. I'll show you some guys on some video on that. The reason why I wanted the 9 is because it's got a screen in front. The 9 now has an actual screen in front, so you can see what you're recording. So that way I won't get that crop action. Because <laughs> I want to make I want to make good videos for you guys. I really do. So I'm all about trying to help you guys out. So, hey, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. See you soon.